Greetings to all, this is Chancellor North Wales. This is the December uh, 2019 build for the Pure Flight Group build at the L60 Brigandier in 172nd scale by AZ model. The L60 Brigandier was a small, high wing, propeller driven Czechoslovakian stole utility aircraft developed for both civil and military use. A prototype developed designated the XL60 with an Argus AS-10C engine first flew in on December 24th, 1953, but it was not successful. The plane was thoroughly redesigned and a second improved prototype with an M208B flat six engine flew on June the 8th, 1954. The aircraft's configuration bears a strong resemblance to the Feisler FI-156 Storch, licensed produced in Czechoslovakia during and after World War II as the K-65 Cap, and which this aircraft was intended to replace. By the end of production in 1960, 273 had been built by Aero, including the improved version, the L-160 with an all-metal tail. The aircraft retrofitted with a PZL built Ivencheko uh, A14R radial engine are known as the L60S. Source for this was Wikipedia. I bought this kit a few years ago from Hannon's uh, model shop. It was on a lucky finds and I bought it along with the Blanik and one other kit. It comes on tan plastic, which has quite a fine flash on it, so it does need a little bit of clearing up and attention. Pa recess panel lines, fine detail, um, but real care needs to be taken out with cutting out the small parts, especially the spars. It also comes with resin and photo etch uh, parts, resin nose, resin wheels and tail wheel photo etch detail elements. Uh, the canopy is a one piece but it's rather thick. Decals are basic but of good quality. The cockpit is basic so needs some extra detail and uh, the instrument panel fit is awful and that needs a lot of work, test fitting, trimming. I found that on quite a few kits like this instrument panel gives problems. The detailing is more representative than anything else. Seat belts were made from masking tape. I represented the uh, presence of the door so you can see where they are. Things like that. Um, significant spars, elements. Just keep it some interest in the cockpit. The nose uh, was resin and needed a lot of sanding and test fitting. Real care had to be taken over the alignment of this. I had to actually cut it off in one stage. So that presented problems. Something to look out for if you do build this kit. I think that it is essential to make the wing spars for the L60, as there's no positive location for the wings. I used long sewing pins secured in the wings with super glue. This was a particular issue with this kit. There was a lot of cockpit masking um, for such a small model. This took a fair bit of time but was worth the effort. Usual way, Tamiya tape burnished down and then peel away where the frame is. And you can see in that view the uh, wing spars. The main filler was Deluxe uh, Products Perfect Putty and I also watered that down uh, to improve its flow and penetration. I also used some uh, Mr. Surfacer on the underside. After Tamiya uh, mid-grey base to check the seam lines, I applied Vallejo model colour 70.981 of ivory um, with thinner and flow improver. So it wasn't a model layer, it was a model colour. This was the main colour. The upper surfaces were masked. Um, the uh, join lines were sealed with a thin spray of ivory. Again, this was to prevent the bleed through and was standard practice. I didn't have any problems with red bleeding through. The lower surfaces were sprayed Model Air 71003 uh, red. Took a few coats to get the right penetration, a nice bit of depth on it, but I was happy with how it came out. The undercarriage was very fiddly, but it was helped by drilling out and uh, pinning the location points. Uh, the red pin's uh, stripe was actually from the decal spare box that wasn't painted. I would have really struggled if it had been. 
The main decals went on with few issues. Um, then were sealed in with gloss varnish. I think I used um, Johnson's Clear for that. This was followed by the last photo etched bits, uh, mostly around cockpit steps. And there it is, finished. What the actual true colour, the off-white, is just not visible in the photos on this one. That's due to camera flash more than anything else. But I was actually quite happy with it. I felt it came out as an attractive little build. A couple of other points. The prop uh, gave a few issues and I had to put a pin down the centre, drill out the uh, resin nose to get that sit properly. And uh, in the end, I think I put a bit of Tamiya tape on the uh, prop shot on the uh, pin just to uh, secure it because that falls out a bit too easily. Other things were a bit of black wash in the uh, engine cooling air intakes. Um, the uh, photo etch on this was okay for the most part. I did drill holes um, or open up the holes on the undersurface of the wings to take the uh, uh, flap actuators but I think I oversized these a bit so in future I'll have to learn to be a little bit more refined about that. It is a tiny model, um, but there's a lot going on there, and I think that's what makes it interesting. So there we have it. Uh, certainly, well, one I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. So, in summary... This was a thoroughly enjoyable four-day project built between Christmas and New Year's 2019. The kit is definitely fiddly with the vague location of some elements, especially the undercarriage. But with a lot of test fitting and pinning, it builds up quite nicely. The decals gave few problems. I'd recommend this kit for more experienced modelers. I do like the more obscure and utilitarian aircraft types, not necessarily the, all the fighter jets and such like. And the L60 fits into this category very well. I will be looking out for the radial engine version and may well end up ordering it at some stage. Sorry for taking so long to post this one, I'd rather lost my video mojo. So, thank you for watching, happy modelling, God bless, take care guys, especially at this time, stay indoors, enjoy your modelling. This is Chancellor North Wales, signing out.